Hey guys, what's going on? Good part tutorials here, and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be using uh, blueprints to create a very basic help system in Unreal Engine 4. So, for this tutorial, we're going to be using Unreal Engine 4.7.3 and we're going to be using the third person template. So, just go ahead and launch that. Alright, once that is launched, you're going to go to New Project, you're going to select the third person template, uh, you're going to select a save file, it can be wherever you want it and you can have whatever settings you want as long as it includes the starter content so we go ahead and create that project alright so once we're in this uh, the third person template we're just gonna identify what we need to actually achieve so we go ahead and basically what we want is we want a uh, health bar to appear in the top left hand corner and we want that health bar to slowly regenerate naturally and we want it to be able to display the percentage of health remaining uh, visually. So if we go ahead and close that. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to set up some variables within the character blueprint. So just go ahead and open up the third person character blueprint. I'm just going to zoom out here. I'm going to add a couple of variables. So these are going to be the maximum health, the current health, and the regen rate. So let's go ahead and set max health. We're going to set this to a uh, float we're going to give it a default of 10. We're going to set the current health now. And we're going to give this a default value of 5. We're going to create another float, and this is going to be the regen rate. Now, I don't know what this is going to be exactly, but you can mess around with it to get the uh, right settings. I'm going to set this to about 0.5. That seems reasonable. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and create the uh, widget for our health bar. So let's go ahead and right click in here and we're going to select the user interface and widget blueprint. I'm going to call this health bar. Now let's open this up. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the graph mode. And we're just going to create a variable here, and this is going to be called health percentage. Let's spell. <laughs> this is also going to be a float, and we're going to make this editable so we can edit it in the character blueprint. And we're just going to give it a quick uh, tooltip. Now the way this works is the progress bar that we're going to create in here. And it's going to be right there. It's going to uh, the progress is out of zero, uh, out of one, sorry. So it's going to be taking in float inputs. So like zero point five will be fifty percent, etc. So let's go ahead and create that uh, progress bar here. I'm going to make it fairly, give it a fairly decent size. Uh, that looks good to me. We're going to set the color to red because why not? And where it says percentage, uh, which should be around here somewhere. Actually, we might search that. Percent. We're going to bind this to the health percentage. Now we're going to go ahead and compile that and head back into our third person character. And we're going to bind the uh, widget to the viewport. So let's go ahead and right click, search event, begin play. We could go into the construction script to do this, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to add widget, Let me see, widget. create widget. Sorry, we're going to select the health bar class. Uh, we're going to set, it, we're going to um, put this into a variable. So let's go ahead and drag out this return value, promote to variable. We're going to call this health bar widget. And then we're going to draw this to the viewport, so let's go ahead and drag out something from that, and type in viewport, add to viewport. Now there we go, if we go ahead and play this now, you see that we've got a empty progress bar. Now we're going to go ahead and fill that now, we're going to create a function, so up, uh, down here, sorry, we're going to call this update health. Now this is going to be called on the events, um, what do you call it, event tick. 
So basically every time the game ticks it's going to update the health. Now the first thing we're going to take in is a damage, just in case you want to add damage later on down the track. We're going to call this damage and we're going to set this to a float. Now for the regen we want to check if the uh, current health is less than the max health. So we're going to go, go ahead and drag out both of these variables. And we want to check it, we're going to drag out a node from the current health, and this is going to be the less than or equal to. So. And we're going to compare that with the float, and I'm going to drag out a branch. And the condition is going to be the output of this less than uh, thing. Now, if this is true, so the current health is less than the max health, we're going to want to regenerate that health. So let's go ahead and drag out a node here. Actually, we won't do that yet. We'll grab the regen rate, and we'll, grab, um, we'll also grab a delta time. This is basically the time it takes for a uh, tick. Uh, we're going to times these by each other, so multiply these by each other, sorry. Float times float, regen rate, and we're going to add this to the current health. Let's go ahead and grab that current health node. Drag out a addition, float plus float, and there we go. I'm going to set the new current health to be equal to this value. So let's go ahead and grab that current health and press set. I'm going to drag out that, and if this is true, I'm going to drag out there. So that's our basic regen setup there. So basically, we're grabbing the delta time, time uh, multiplying that by the regen rate then adding that onto the current health and setting the new current health to that value. Now what we need to do is we need to update the health bar. Alright, so we're just going to grab both these nodes out. We're going to grab the current health and the max health. And basically we want to divide the current health by the max health. So let's just go ahead and divide that. And this is then going to be put into the uh, current percentage which is in the uh, health bar widget so the health percentage uh, thing we have here so let's go ahead and drag out this health bar so get that and we're going to search up health percentage set health percentage and we're going to set this equal to the to this here and we'll go ahead and grab this here and connect those two so now if we go ahead and play nothing is going to happen we're just going to drag out a print node from here, so let's convert this to string. Uh, print. Just to check what's happening. And we'll go ahead and print this. And play it. Oh, we have, oh wow. Alright, so we haven't actually called the uh, this function yet. So let's go back to the event graph. And we're going to call the update health. So let's go ahead and grab the tick. Event tick and update health there we go let's just go ahead and play this now I'm not sure if that health is regening so we're gonna up the uh, regen right here we'll put, uh, actually that's zero so <laughs> that kinda makes sense so that's, I thought I said that to 0 0.5 but anyways, all right there we go so let's go that's regening nicely now what we're going to do is we're just going to add a quick uh, number indicator. So let's go to the designer again and add a text widget. Just drag that out. Now we're going to set the Z order of this to be 1, so that's above the health bar. I'm going to set the text to nothing. I'm going to go into the graph. I'm going to add a new variable. This is going to be called uh, health text. Then we're going to compile that. Uh, I'm going to make this editable tooltip uh, text representation of health. I'm going to go back into the third person character and update health function. We're going to floor the current health and the max health. Alright, we're going to drag this up here just so it's out of the way. I'm going to convert these to strings. All 
right, we're going to append the current health to a, another string. And we're just going to add a slash there. We're then going to append this. Actually, we want to append this one again. Drag out this. And we want to set the uh, text, uh, health text. We want to set that to be equal to, actually, we set that as a float. So let's go ahead and change that. We want that to be a string. Compile. And we can drag out this here and complete the, uh, the function. So let's go ahead and compile that and then play that. And nothing is being displayed again. All right, so what we have done is we haven't binded the health text. Let's go into the designer. As uh, where it says text, we're going to go ahead and bind that to the health text. So let's go ahead and compile, play, and there we go. You can see it gradually going up. We just want to make sure that it's not regening over the 10 mark, and it's not. So there we go. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see some more content. And I'll see you guys next time.